earlier, we told you that, you know, not all weeds are bad, and now we are showing you some useful ways to utilize the native weeds in your yard. And Liz Campanella, who is the co-owner of Uprooted Gardens, joins us once again. And once again, you said that a weed technically is the same as anything else. It's just what you like and don't like and don't want. Absolutely. It's just something growing where you don't want it to grow. Okay. And even dandelions dandelions are weeds yes and you know they are have a really big space in the health food market if you have digestion problems inflammation um, high blood pressure blood sugar instability dandelion can cure really a lot of those things and i use that term cure lightly because obviously things come with a grain of salt right. but dandelion definitely has some properties that all the way back to the native americans have been using and harvesting these to to help medicinal uses i had no idea with that and Absolutely. i did not know that there was dandelion ginger and dandelion herb tea and yeah and what? And there's capsules and supplements and all these cool uses. So I brought, you know, some tea that obviously it's one of the more common ways to just dry a flower and then um, mix it in a sachet with maybe some other herbs and make a tea. This one I thought was really fun. I found it at Central Market and I thought it honestly good with a little bit of splash of Tito's in there, maybe hints <laughs> of the I like the way you think. Uh, you have know, a little like meal saw, there. Like we saw earlier, it's so, five o'clock somewhere. But happy Weed Appreciation Day. Show. Well, and also, I mean, I've heard of people way back when making dandelion wine as well. Absolutely, you know, that's a big thing. And oh, and you know, way it has back a little when, bit. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> You know I so. can't resist. Okay, I'm sorry. So Easter decorations, of course, and sunflowers. Sunflowers, you know, a lot of people consider those a weed. They take a lot over farmland and things like that. So I brought just some flowers. This is also thistle. So normally spiny plants that we would see like this one that we don't want can also make a nice fluffy part of the arrangement. Okay, so like the uh, Christmas poem, the down of a thistle. Oh, yes, That's what, there we go. Is this what? That, that is that a thistle. Thing? Okay, <laughs> what are you laughing at there, Fiona? <laughs> From <laughs> Easter to Christmas here, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. Because you are Father Christmas to me, okay? So, so of course okay. You, have, you made a Christmas reference. Back to sunflowers. I didn't realize that those were at times considered uh, some weeds. A nuisance, Because I, cause I yeah. thought people planted those to yeah. get beautiful bright sunflowers like that. Absolutely, but they there are varieties of native ones in Texas that will pop up and they just kind of take over and obviously they're really gorgeous, but for farmers and you know people that are trying to use and cultivate the land, sometimes they can really be a nuisance. All right, the other thing we were, we were talking about earlier, because you were talking about some that have ground cover, you may or may not be able to buy them at the store. You'd have to kind of cultivate them if they pop up in your yard, but uh, can you, like blue bonnets, I know those aren't considered weeds, but wildflowers yeah. like that, can you buy seeds for those? Can you buy seeds for sunflowers and oh. plant them? Definitely. Okay. There's a lot of great um, markets online for uh, sunflower seeds, native wildflowers, um, blue bonnets, and pretty much any native or wildflower you can think of, you can probably find a seed for. And being okay. native, they're drought tolerant. Absolutely. So they're something that you can plant and not really have to worry about as much, especially coming into these summer months. Okay. And real quickly before we go, do you have a favorite? native weed? Honestly, mine's purslane. A lot of people see it. It pops up in between the little cracks of maybe some brick or a side pathway, but it's actually edible and the blooms are just so cute and dainty and they really scream fiesta. All right. Well, remember, if you need help in your garden, you know who to reach out to. Liz with Uprooted Gardens and head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. Like the down of a thistle. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.